Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kathy. So I've been asked what I use on my face to keep my skin clear. I guess, as you can tell, I do have pretty good skin. I don't break out very often. If I do, it's like a lighthouse on my face or so it feels like that or appears to be like that. Um, I've been taking care of my skin for a long time. I remember using like oil of Lady since I was like 12 years old, but there was a time when I didn't really take care of my skin either. I would, uh, sit out in the sun and put baby oil on. And there was a time when I was addicted to the tanning bed, so I was like, <laughs> like leather dark. And when my sister was diagnosed with melanoma cancer in, I think it was like 2006, I want to say, around there, 2004, 2006, I became more observant of the damage that the sun can do and tanning beds can do so I didn't really participate in those activities much more I tried to be vigilant and use a sombrello whenever the sun is like extremely hot outside which to me I find the sun is getting hotter I don't know if it's getting closer to us but it just seems like it's getting hotter I don't know. I have recently been like overwhelmed with skincare because I joined BoxyCharm and Ipsy. BoxyCharm mostly has like bombarded me with skincare. And when I say bombarded, like I don't have a space in my bedroom to put anything else. Like I'm so swimming in skincare. And I have literally every single kind of skincare that you could probably want other than high-end brands like Gucci or Yves Saint Laurent or, but I do have good skincare. Like if I need to target something like a pimple or a blackhead or Rosacea, anything like that, uh, guaranteed I have a product and I'm going to fix the product, fix the problem. The one thing that I can't seem to fix is dehydration. I don't know if it's, if it's the environment that I live in that's dehydrating my skin or if it's the fact that I just can't stand drinking plain water. I don't know. I just, I, yeah, I just can't. It's boring to me. Like it's just, it's boring. And if I had a choice, well, yeah, I, I wish that I could drink water. Like it's my job. I really do. I just, it's boring. I have recently started getting into the flow water and it has like cucumber and mint in it and I drink it out of a wine glass so I'm not like feeling fancy, but it's expensive. Like you're paying $2.49 for one container of water, whereas like you can get a whole 24 of Walmart tap water for $1.49. Like, I don't know. I find it called, it's called greenwashing. I know that it's a uh, consumerism at its finest. Like you can go pour your own damn tap water. I don't know. I seen, I wanted to make this video because I know that Tati Westbrook had made a new video on her suggestions for skincare and somebody that I was watching 
was saying, oh, she has such perfect, flawless skin. And then she turned her face and you could see like a row of pimples right here on her cheek. To me, that's not really perfect, flawless skin. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I love my skin. I wouldn't change my complexion for anything. Not anything, like, other than the dehydration. The de that could be from vaping. I really don't know. I'm so vain with my face, though. Like, <sighs> it stresses me out that I'm getting older and, like, I might have to go on get a second job just to pay for Botox when I'm older. I have a very expressive face, facial features, face, like I wear my emotion on my face. You, especially the cocking of the eyebrow or like I got looks that could you know when I'm mad because I just, I can't hide it on my face. I don't have a poker face at all. Uh, the only thing I, I do get sometimes are uh, like, I don't know if they're called whiteheads or um, like, my brain isn't thinking, it's starting to want to fart. Um, like when you have a dirty pillowcase or sleep with your makeup on, that's like the most extreme things that I would get. I'd love to get my lips done. Get like the pillow lips. I like being human though. I like my face being expressive. I like that I can move my forehead up and down. Sometimes it seems like it gets stuck like that though, so I don't I don't like that very much. Like when I'm I just seem surprised all the time sometimes. Like I'm stuck like so I don't understand what that's about. But like I've got all the kind, like Sunday Riley, 111 Sitkin, Kate Somerville, Skin & Co, um, like Coors, Hey Honey, Jack of Black, um, Tula, Clean Skin Club, Grown Alchemist, like every, I think I have like OC, I have so much skincare. And the more I seem to use the skin care, the more the looks like the more aged I look for some reason. I don't know if I'm just too critical of my face, which is highly likely. I will be 44 in a month. <laughs> yep, November 7th. I'll be 44 in a month and I don't know. The only place I really find I'm showing it progressively is on my neck. I don't know if I can get like laser therapy on my neck or I want to stay young forever. If I could, I would. I need to dye my hair because I'm starting to get like not starting to get, but they're starting to show a little bit more than what they normally show when my hair is dyed. Oh, is life. <clears throat> like, I'm closer to 45 than I am to 40, so I don't know if I can really complain about those things. I haven't found the fountain of youth yet. When I do, oh my. I don't know. Um, <laughs> people are going to think that I just come on here to gloat about my good skin. Maybe I did. I don't know. Do you guys have good skin? 
or do you have rough skin? My skin still feels like right here on my, on my shoulder. It's like as soft as a baby's butt. Isn't that the way that saying goes? Soft as a baby's butt. I don't know, maybe that, that means I'm prone to premature wrinkling. I don't know. Maybe I should go see a dermatologist. Or like a... Somebody that does Botox. Just to get the inside scoop. I started doing like... Freeze facials. Like chirogenics or whatever it's called. So you get like... Uh, I just use, you know, those freezer packs that you can get. I get one of those and I just go over my skin, all over my skin with it, like freeze it. And that seems to help. So I don't know if that's an idea that you can use. I know that it had like a hickey thing there on my forehead and it took it away within a day. From a stupid beauty tool that I have, a suction cup. <laughs> I gave myself a unicorn hickey right on the middle of my forehead. Stupid dummy. <laughs> I try not to use skincare. Maybe that's why my skin is good. Let me know what you think about that. See? Look at it. I'm going to start wearing turtlenecks all the time that are like right up to here. Like Melissa McCarthy used to wear so you can just see her face. Not any of this part of her body, just her face. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, I love you guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me for more beauty tips. I don't really have any because I don't have to use any. I don't have acne. I do have stuff for acne. Because my daughter gets acne, so I suggest things to her all the time. It's got good skin, man. Good skin club. If you're my hater, send this hit video to your hater. And maybe they'll hate me too because my skin is better than theirs. Unfortunately, it's my genetics and it's not really anything that I can help. <laughs> Love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video.